So in the pretty previous video of this series, I, I basically showed you how to build, you know, this kind of app where you can step through um, and ask a question about each of these uh, inspirational women leaders. Okay. Now let's, let's start dealing with the answers. And so I'm going to go back to editing and go into the blocks. We've got our question list and we've got our pick list. Of course, we're not really using the name list, but what we do need is an answer list. So I'm going to create a new variable and I'm going to name it answer list. And um, I've got my data over here in my Google Docs. So I'm just going to grab the correct answers here. Um, answer list, I'll just copy the question list just so we don't have to rebuild the, the kind of list block. Um, and I just need to change the text in here. So I'm just going to grab the first answer, Montgomery, Alabama is where Rosa Parks, um, uh, the whole bus incident was in Montgomery, Alabama. Here's COBOL was uh, one of the first coding languages that uh, Grace Hopper helped create. And NAS NASA was um, where Dorothy Vaughn was a, a mathematician and programmer. And then finally, um, Reed versus Reed was the really important um, case for for women's women's rights that Ruth Bader Ginsburg. So anyway, we've got our answer list. Um, and now, you know, we're also going to want an answer choices list to give different choices for, for you know, each question. Um, but for now, I, I just want to show you in this video, just show you how to show a list. So for, let's just pretend that for each of these questions, we want the user to choose between these four answers. Now, obviously, these are not good answer choices for all the questions, uh, but it, let's just start with that. So I'm going to go back to the designer, and there's a there's a component called a list viewer, and and here it is right here. And so so you know in your in your variables, you know remember these are kind of hidden. These are like in the little spreadsheet memory cells that beneath an app or that that are hidden that you can't the user can't see. But if we want to show the user items from a list. We use a list viewer, and so we drag it out. and And let's see, I'm just going to put this um, right there. I actually want it below the question, I think. Okay, and so they're going to they're going to choose choose from this from this list. Um, and anyway, in my blocks, I just need to make sure that the list viewer appears. And so what I'll do for now is just in my screen dot opens. I'm going to say I want my list viewer, and what you do is you set the text items property. So whatever text items you want this to be a list, you know, usually a variable that's a list, and then it will display that list. So I'm just going to go grab a reference to answer list, and you know, all I want to do for now is just show you that these answers are going to appear in that list viewer. Okay. Um, so if I go back to design and preview, um, the list viewer is, is showing up. Let's see, I'm not sure why it's showing up way up there. Uh, let's go ahead and edit. Oh, sorry, my list viewer did end up up there. Okay, uh, let's see. So I just want to reorder these things. So I want my image on top, and then I want my question to come next and then my list viewer and my next button. So let's see if the preview works a little better. Okay, cool. So we've got our image, we've got our question, and notice it's it does list the answers and the user can choose, you know, choose from it. You know, we're not doing anything when they choose to see if they're they're right or not. Um, but we basically got the got the setup and you know, it's, I I think I need to make these this image a little smaller and you know, we need to do a little styling of course. Um, but you know, the key thing from this this video is, you know, they've got this list viewer component that can show any list, and then the way you actually show, you know, one of your variables is to set the text items property of the list viewer.